Okay, welcome everyone. So today I'll be teaching you how to create an account on GitHub. Simply go to your github.com over there, click on sign up. Okay, now you need to enter a valid email address to sign in. So enter your email address with which you want to sign in into github.com. After that, you need to enter a password. So create a password. Uh, it will ask you to create a strong password. So make sure that you remember this password. This is important. After that, choose a username. So it says Mozum is not available. So, okay, I'll choose Mozum19. Maybe this is available. Yeah, that, this one is available. So I'll go with continue and just type in N over here and click continue again. Solve this puzzle quickly. Uh, spiral galaxy for me. Okay, it's done, create account. Okay, after that, it will send a launch code on your email address with which you registered. Go to your email address. There you'll see a launch code being sent to you in the email. Type in that launch code. Okay, once that has been done, just quickly select any options from over here. They, they do not actually matter, so you can choose anyone. Okay, from this, just select one or maybe multiple, that also doesn't matter. Just continue. Make sure that you use the free version and it's going to launch the GitHub for you. Okay, once you have successfully signed up for GitHub, the next step is to configure your Get local get. So for that purpose, what you guys need to do for Mac users, you will open up your terminal. For Windows user, you'll be opening up your Git bash. Okay, now in your terminal or Git bash, you'll be entering the command git config dash dash user dot name. Uh, sorry, it's git config dash dash global user dot name. And after that, you have to enter the username which you selected for your own GitHub. For me, I selected Mozum 19. If I want to make sure of that, I can simply go to GitHub. I can right click on this drop down, and over here is my username. So I'll be entering my username. After that, I'll use the command git config dash dash global user dot email. And in there, I'm going to place the email address which I used to register with GitHub. So for me, it was this one. Guys, please make sure that whenever you are entering your username or email address, it's not mine. It should be yours. So do not copy my username or my email address. Please make sure that you are entering your own username and your own email address. Okay, once you are done with that, the last step that you need to do is git config dash dash list. And over here, it's going to show you user.name and the username that you placed in, user.email and the email that you used to uh, configure your git. Rest of the information does not matter. Even if you don't see that, it's not a problem. The important thing is that you should be able to see these two information that you configured over here. That's it. Once you are done with it, you are good to go.